If you don't smoke pot on any other day, don't smoke it on 420. It's like taking up drinking on St. Patrick's Day. At best, you'll be getting in the way of the professionals. And at worst, you'll find yourself going through a car wash without a car. <laughs> New rule, clickbait sites that promise I won't believe what my favorite stars of the 70s look like now have to understand, I probably will. <laughs> the concept of aging is familiar to me. <laughs> like, here's Anthony Hopkins in his 30s. Now here he is in his 70s. I believe it. <laughs> Maybe you should try this one. They, they say Dick Clark never aged. And you won't believe what happened to him. He died. <laughs> <clears throat> New rule, showrooms in Beverly Hills that offer rare and exotic cars like Lamborghinis and Maseratis have to understand that in a city full of wealthy movie producers and successful Persians, those cars are neither rare nor exotic. <laughs> you want to drive a rare and exotic car in Beverly Hills? Try this 84 Buick Electra station. Neural, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> not at the first naked restaurant is opening in London. Don't order the flaming dessert. <laughs> What a great new concept in dining. Farm to table to crotch to hospital. <laughs> yes, a restaurant where the only response to can I please freshen your coffee is fuck no, stay the hell away. <laughs> Not to mention that awkward moment when you say, waiter, there's some soup in my hair. <laughs> He's shaming me. New rule. News organizations have to stop reporting that the Japanese island of Oshima has been overrun by cats. I'm no journalist, but clearly it's more accurate to report that the Japanese island of Oshima has an extreme shortage of lesbians. <laughs> and finally, new rule, white people. <laughs> have to find some middle ground between racists and people who see <coughs> racism everywhere. Because at this point, I can't tell who's more annoying, conservatives who don't care about anyone who isn't white, or liberals who hate themselves because they are white. <laughs> There's gotta be some sweet spot between the PC police and the Baltimore police. <laughs>